Well, tonight, the president ignoring advice from his own health experts, saying he wants kids in classrooms come the fall no matter what. This as cases continue to surge across the country. Tonight, in a series of tweets, President Trump threatened to defund schools that don't open their doors in the fall, although he has little power to do so. We want to learn in the classroom, so our schools, we want them open in the fall. The president went on to criticize the CDC's school safety guidelines, calling them very tough and expensive. Just hours later, Vice President Mike Pence confirmed the CDC would issue new recommendations for schools as soon as next week. We don't want uh, the guidance from CDC to be a reason why schools don't open. But ultimately, the decision to reopen will be left up to schools and local districts. Tonight, teachers groups say the federal government isn't doing enough to help fund and plan for a safe reopening. So it's kind of unfair that we're putting the education system on the hook for bailing us out of this pandemic in terms of child care and getting our economy moving again. In New York City, the nation's largest school district, the mayor announced come September, students would only attend in-person classes one to three days a week. The average class size would drop from 30 students to about nine and 12. I feel for parents who are juggling so much. We're going to have to figure out more uh, in terms of uh, child care. And in South Florida, where cases are surging, the Miami-Dade County Superintendent of Schools says if conditions don't improve there, he won't follow a state order to resume in-person classes. That's virtually impossible. It would be reckless. But as numbers rise across the state, hospitals like Memorial in Hollywood are the busiest since the pandemic began. The numbers are going up significantly the past few weeks. Meanwhile, hospitalizations and deaths in other hotspots continue to skyrocket. On Tuesday, Texas broke its single-day record, reporting just over 10,000 new cases. Over in Arizona tonight, the state has less than 150 ICU beds. California had at least 100 people die from the virus for the third day this week. And during today's White House task force briefing, Dr. Deborah Burks asking people to basically go back to stage one restrictions. Use the face coverings, not going to bars, not going to indoor dining, but really not gathering in homes either. And tonight, the Ivy League has become the first to cancel all sports programs until January. Because of coronavirus, other college conferences are still hoping to play, but have yet to release any details on how they would make it happen. Reporting in the newsroom, Leslie Marine, Juan Pat, back to you guys.